Before connecting an M.2 drive to the M.2 backplane, ensure that the blue retainer is located on the section of the backplane to accommodate the drive. Press both sides of the retainer, then move the retainer forward until it is in the large opening of the keyhole. Remove the retainer from the keyhole. Insert the retainer into the correct keyhole and slide it backwards until it is secure, but not in the way for the installation of the M.2 drive. Insert the M.2 drive at an angle of approximately 30 degrees into the M.2 backplane connector. Note, if your M.2 backplane supports two M.2 drives, insert the drives into the connectors at both sides. Rotate the M.2 drive down until it is parallel with the backplane. Slide the retainer forward onto the notch of the M.2 drive to secure the drive in place. Grasp the M.2 backplane by the tabs or blue touch points and align the blue plastic supports with the guide pins on the system board. Then insert the M.2 backplane into the M.2 slot on the system board. Carefully press down by the edges to seat it. Align the rear of the riser assembly number two with the corresponding rail guides in the rear of the chassis. Carefully press straight down until it is seated in the system board and chassis. Note the orientation of the air baffle. Lower the air baffle tabs into the chassis notches Connect the RAID supercapacitor module cable to its corresponding RAID adapter cable. Then lower the system fan cage straight down into the chassis. Rotate and lower the system fan cage levers to secure the cage. Before you install the top cover, ensure that all components are installed and seated correctly. Lower the top cover onto the chassis until the mounting posts of the cover engage the guides on both sides of the chassis. Pivot the cover latch down and ensure that all clips are engaged.